Yasmin. had a funny turn and you're in hospital but you're okay everything's okay oh try not to move <coughs> oh gran i'm desperate to hug you but what happened they think you had a heart attack oh. but don't worry they say you're gonna be fine you're gonna be okay i'm sorry this, this trial this doesn't affect anything Paula's getting it postponed. Imran actually said that this might help because now we've got time to find Elaine, but but don't worry about that now, yeah? It's all taken care of. I'm sorry. No. No. Do not apologize. It's not your fault. Just um just take your time, yeah? Concentrate on getting better. Everything's okay, okay? I promise. I love you. I love you too. Is, is it is there a god outside? Yeah. Hmm. There goes my escape plan. <laughs> yeah, a bit of normality would be nice. Oh, I find routine invaluable for keeping up our morale. You know, I drew up a daily timetable for Sean of enjoyable but improving activities. You know, a typical day would include a, an online Italian class, followed by a, a spot of balcony singing. And uh, Sean was OK with it? Well, uh, admittedly, he didn't often partake mm. and occasionally muttered something about wanting to murder me in my sleep. Oh. <laughs> you know, but on the whole, the, the, the threats were in jest and we'd laugh. Well, I I'd laugh and, and keep my bedroom door locked. <laughs> You're OK there, love. Uh, yeah. Um, am I OK to come in or should I wait oh, outside? Apologies. I am hugging Cathy. <laughs> if you talk to her, please give my love to Yasmin. Of course I will. I was meant to be there with her today in court. Oh, poor thing. Well, um, stay safe. Yes, Papa. you too. <laughs> Um, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but she said Yasmin. Were you talking about Yasmin Metcalf? Yeah, that's right. You're not a journalist, are you? No. No, no, no. I'm just following it in the paper. So, the trial's today? Well, it was, but uh, it's been delayed. Look, you're probably going to read about this. Uh, Yasmin's had a heart attack in prison. Oh, no. How awful. Um, I don't wish to, um, I don't want to pry, but could I just ask, mm. Yasmin, did people take her side immediately when she said what happened? Was she believed? You're sure you're not a journalist? No, 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 no. Sorry, to, to tell the truth, I'm following it because a similar thing happened to me with an ex-partner mm. and nobody believed me. Well, uh, look, I'm sorry to hear that, love. And no, to be honest, no, not everybody did believe her. We all made mistakes. We let her down. <laughs> Do you know, before all this happened, Jeff was part of the community. He was well liked, believe it or not. He was funny. <laughs> That's all changed now, of course. Well, of course. Yeah, now we know the truth. It's sickening. Yeah. You know, it's getting to the stage where the only person supporting that man will be his son. His son? Tim, yeah. Tim, he's always doted on his dad. He won't believe a word of it, no matter what anybody says. It's hard, you know, it's understandable, I guess. I mean, <laughs> who wants to believe that about their dad? So it was just lying there? Yeah, under some litter. Then the clouds parted, a sunbeam shone down, and I saw it sparkle. It was like something from a fairy tale. Yeah, you finding a busted-up old fake watch in between the crisp packets. It's just like a fairy tale, that. 
Ha-ha! Oh, you see? It's not fake. Gun metal. <gasps> 400 quid, that's worth new. 400 quid! Ka-ching! Yeah, but it's still battered up. And that inscription's gonna take the price down. Will you stop weighing on my chips? This is the best thing that's happened to me in months. It's my little pot of gold. Technically, it's Rick's pot of gold. To Rick from Laura. Take it, you're gonna try and find him. Is it back? You could put some posters up in the woods where you found it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost managed to keep a straight face there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very funny. Try and find him. <laughs> To our bro. Yes, please. Oh! You all right? You don't want to know. Yeah, you're right, I don't. Oh, jog on, then. Well, I don't want to know, but I do live here. Speaking of which, thought you were moving into Red Bank. It's been put back a week. Great. Let's go on, then, on board. What's Adam done now? What makes you think it's Adam? Well, is it? Oh, he's still obsessed with Gary. See, I'm good. So he's now set up this meeting with Rick's ex. Do you know what? Forget about it. I need to go to work. No, go on. No, because you don't care. Well, no, I don't, obviously, but it's just nice to hear how messed up other people's relationships are, you know? It's sort of comforting. Oh, shut up. All right. See so you wear me scene show today. Yeah, I'll peel their faces away from screens upstairs and take them for a visit. They're teaching at Uno again. Things any better? Well, they were. Honestly, they were, but... if we'd not been through enough, him upstairs decided to chuck a pandemic at us, so... kind of sets things back while you're quarantined apart. So what you're saying it is that I need to shut up about Adam because, obviously, your life is worse. Well, I didn't say that, but... Yeah. Right, I need to get to work. You've said that. Shut up. You said that and all.